What is the right supercar for somebody? If you're wondering about buying a supercar, this is the video for you. I've been kind of snowed in here. This is Kelowna right now, and the airport was closed for a bit, so I'm kind of stuck here. So let's go see Spencer over at August Motor Cars, and we'll see what we can find for a supercar. Maybe you're on a budget, maybe there's a certain thing you're after, and uh, it's gonna be a good time. Let's go check it out. What do you guys think of my hot rod Mazda? Not exactly a supercar by any means, but it gets the job done, doesn't it? Pretty sweet. Actually, all, all jokes aside, it's got a heads up display, which is definitely awesome. We are back, August Luxury Motor Cars. And today we are gonna find out what is the supercar for you, if Spencer's not busy. It's my man. What's going on? I need 20 minutes of your time. I'm gonna trade you for a coffee. Let's do it. Which doesn't sound like good value for you, <laughs> but it is for me, <laughs> so. But there's bad news. I forgot the coffee in the car outside, so we gotta go get it, so. <laughs> of course. We'll do that, and then we'll come back in, and I got some questions for you. Sounds good. How's that coffee treat me there? You got your well, coffee? Well, we'll find out. I'm just gonna go get it. You're gonna like it, I promise. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so my question for you coffee. today is, you deal with all types of supercar buyers, right? Yep. I know people have had this question because I had this question. What is the right supercar for somebody? Mm -hmm. So like, let's say somebody comes in, where do we start? Like $100,000, 150,000? Yeah, you can do like, you know, around that hundred and a quarter kind of mark and up yeah. kind of thing. And where do we go there for a hundred and a quarter? Uh, or, you know, a lot of people will start out with the Mercedes GT C or GTS's. Okay. Do you kinda, have one here? Yeah, I've got yeah. one actually sitting off in the corner. I've got a really cool GTR Pro, so it's a little more on the high end. Okay. Um, you know, that's a good starting point. And those for, are a hundred and a quarter? Yeah, they can range from, you know, low hundreds, depending on the kilometers in the year, and then they go up from there. Is Mercedes considered supercar? You know, it's one of those points. Or is it luxury super sports car? It's kind of like luxury, you know, high-end sports car when it comes down to it. But you know, when it starts putting down Nurburg track winning times, then, what then do you, do, right? you yeah. know you're you're in that territory. All right, let's check one out. There it is. So how much power is this? So this guy here is a GTR Pro. So this is like absolute, you know, topping everything off as much as you can get in this car. This particular one has 577 horsepower. This is 264. Mm -hmm. This particular one, again, just- Looks very high spec. Yeah, super yeah. high spec. Again, this is like the Nurburg track winner. Like this okay. thing actually beat the Nurburg track time. Really? Yes. This, let's get, a, let's get some shots. These cars actually have a dial right in the center console. This little yellow guy right in here, and you can pick and choose how much traction control you want. So it's not just like an on and off button like no, most no other traction cars. Control. You can pick. No traction how much control. You, want. you can't do burnouts with traction control. <laughs> uh, tons of carbon on it. Carbon rear spoiler. Yeah, this is an insane it. spec. Center mounted exhaust, which you don't wow. see on any other uh, Mercedes. Audi R8. This is a V10 Plus, right? Yeah. So it's not, a V8 would be an entry level. They don't have a V10 Plus in this generation, it's just considered a V10. Okay. Um, yeah, V10 motor, you know, all the grunt and growl that people love, the high revving, you know. And for people that are unaware, this is essentially a budget Lamborghini. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. The Gallardo and this were built on the exact same platform, use the same motor, same transmission, you know, effectively just have a little bit different tune and exhaust notes on them. Yeah. And this would be the same as an LP Gallardo, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Cool. And how much power here? Uh, this guy is going to be right around that 500 mark as well. Um, all wheel drive and, you know, at uh, this particular one, again, being the GT. And it's, this yeah, is 140, uh, right? 125 actually. 125. Oh, sorry, you're right, 140. 140, oh. okay. And so, what else are we doing? For uh, entry level, Supercar. Entry level supercars. Geez. Well, you we know have. What? This for 209 is it's a, so much car for 200 like, grand. A lot of car. Yeah. yeah. It's one of the things I find the 650s are a little underrated in that sense. Yeah. You know, for what what you get bang for the buck. And it's a spider yet. It's, yeah, spider. Say, you know, effectively you know, 650 horsepower, you yeah. know, so it's uh, so much car for the money. And they put the power down, which is super, super impressive. And the one thing I learned today is these actually have a lot more space in a spider than say an R8. Absolutely, yeah. With R8, you lose six inches of space. Yeah, you lose about uh, six inches of speed, seat space in, yeah. uh, in the spiders where it doesn't really affect the McLarens, so. This, yeah, this is a lot of car for the money. It's Spencer, so we went from the 
Entry level, apparently $250,000 Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> then we went to the $140,000 R8. Mm -hmm. Now we're at a $200,000 650S. That's a 650, right? Yep. Yes, yeah. Where do we go from there? Oh, uh, you can go up all the way up to the, you know, the Huracons, which can vary from, you know, mid 200. That's a two wheel drive, the yellow one, right? Yep, the yep. yellow one, two wheel drive. There's the big, big boss two. over there. And, yep. uh, you know, you can get them all the way up to, you know, 400 grand or so, give or take, too. Performante. So, yeah, the So this is a two wheel drive yep. Huracan. Uh, what's this worth? Uh, this one's 275. 275? Yeah. And what's this? That guy's a sick, uh, another two wheel drive, uh, just a actually pretty much the same year and everything so well wow. it's so a nice color that's not a wrap that's a paint that's the real paint from, wow. from lamborghini this is a perfect monte now correct me if i'm wrong but you guys have had this car before we have we've sold this car a couple times so. the, the exposed carbon is amazing forged carbon or forged carbon sorry yeah everything on this car is amazing thank you for correcting me <laughs> <laughs> everything on this car is amazing let's get some shots here How much power in the Performante? Performante's got 640 horsepower, 640. so you get an extra 30 horsepower over the regular all-wheel drive. Okay, cool. And they also come with a lightweight center-mounted exhaust as well, so instead of exiting on the two corners, you get the two uh Oh, kind of like the Evo. Pipes. Yep, just like yeah. the Evo, actually. The Is this a higher spec than the Evo, the Performante? No. They Technically, it would be a little bit below the Evo, just in the sense that it doesn't have the new updated screen in the center, okay. and it doesn't have rear-wheel steering. But I enjoy these more than the Evo. It's so you funny. You and me both. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I actually, I know that car. That's, uh, what's his face? It's out of Vancouver's. Vancouver, yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, John. John, yeah. 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 Because he bought this 720 from you he guys. He bought that matte black 720 yes. off of us. Yeah. yeah I absolutely. knew that car. That's an Evo. That is an Evo. And that's a newer one though. That's a 2020 if I'm not speaking. 2020, yep. yeah. Nice. And what's the price on that? Uh, that one I'd have to double check. I believe it's 359 if I'm not mistaken. And what's the power in an Evo? Uh, th uh, the Same thing? Yeah. Okay. 640. 640. Not sound enough. Okay. So, <laughs> supercar owner has just traded in his Performante or his uh, 6104. Mm -hmm. Where does he go from there? I would say either you go up to either a 720 potentially, you know, if you're after rear wheel drive, or you go into an Aventador, right? Who would That's... pick an Aventador? <laughs> <laughs> What's the price? So, this is an S, Aventador S. Yep. It looks like a newer model. Yep, it's a 2018 Aventador Tw S. It only has 1,500 kilometers on it, so it's practically a brand Clearly, new Clearly, I have not owned this car. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, you wouldn't but have, <laughs> You would have doubled those kilometers just on your trip home, so. Well, I don't know if you heard, but I did 7,000 cans in seven weeks, so. <laughs> <laughs> and so, this guy uh, sold for 550. 550? Yeah. Okay. My favorite part of these cars, when the top comes out, it kind of reminds me of the old school Diablo. Mm -hmm. Kind yeah, of. The roadsters that pop yes. off and you just store them in the front up front. More there. reliable Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Spencer, this is 700 horsepower, or you can go to a 700 horsepower 720 McLaren. Okay, yeah. Let's check that out. Do you have room to open the doors? Because they just look more gangster with the doors open. <laughs> Yeah, they're not like a Lamborghini where you save space with the door. Yeah, well, it's well, it's actually you know pretty surprising. They clear everything you know within a couple of feet, so yeah, uh, you can actually open them with pretty. Uh, I like that. Like part space. of the car physically comes away when the door opens. Yeah. This might be my favorite car in your showroom. Just saying. It's a beautiful. Car. Oh, we're clipping a mirror on that. Yeah, end. you can't get her on that side. <laughs> no, all good. So what do we have here? What year is this? This is an 18 720. Uh, it's got a unobtainium exhaust on it. So beautiful, crazy, crazy sounding exhaust. And he's a, I'm not gonna say local guy cause you're in Kelowna, but he's from Calgary, right? Unobtainium? Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, absolute ton of Vorsteiner carbon. So this whole uh, rear wing is Vorsteiner, the side winglets, uh, front carbon uh, aero kit as well. And just, uh, I think he's got some nice rims and tires that he threw yeah, on there too. Looks very nice. And where are we at for price on this? Uh, this particular one, I believe, just trying to remember. 369? I was going to say right around there, yeah. 369, I think. I only know that because I did look at this car at one point. All right, we've got 369. Um, 
Porsche, but we've already kind of surpassed that, right? The GT3 RS? Yes, yeah, and the Viper. Viper's a cool That's a Gen 3? Gen 4? Uh, Gen 3, I think. Uh, Gen 3, yeah. Yeah, Viper. Yeah, so we've already passed that. Mm -hmm. um, what about the 675 back here? 675, it's going to be kind of in and around that same price point of, uh, of all the stuff as it is. Another super cool limited production car, right? But they now, only make 500. Of I know this one's not for sale, right? This is Matt's car. Yep. But this 675 in particular, um, being a spider and stuff, it's going to be more than that 369, right? Yeah, I think there's kind of, you know, with the current market pricing, you're kind of in around the high threes. High threes, yeah. Um, and then you go up from there, you know, from this, you go up to the, the 765 to get into the big boy toys, yeah. right? Yeah, and you have one. We should probably go look at it. Sounds good. Matt's standing there. He's not going to mind. <laughs> so this, is, this isn't the biggest dog, but it's a big dog, it's right? It's a big dog. Big, yeah. big player for sure. You know, the 765, again, super limited protection. And, you know, it's been their, uh, their pinnacle of their LP, LT cars so yeah. far. So. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that roof scoop, this little piece here, that my wife would probably have a weird name for is like sixty thousand dollars yeah it's a pretty uh pretty expensive upgrade and it just straight induction just like uh you know to cool off the engine and everything like that i don't believe it's actually physically pushes it into the no intake. i don't think so, it's no. right into the engine bay though for yeah. cooling and but if you want to add this to a car don't you have to ship it away for a year or yeah, something crazy yeah, you got to ship it right out to mclaren they take it they bring a team they fly it out to the mclaren dealership and the, or mclaren uh, factory and then and a quick, quick sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, just quick. Quick, quick. quick. So, what <laughs> would we have here? We have seven hundred sixty-five horsepower. Yep. Full race car, street race car. I guess you could say, yeah, right? Effectively, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's caged and everything, right? Yeah, they've got the full MSO uh, McLaren cage in it. Um, quad exhaust on the back. Oh which is my super, goodness! Super cool. I love all the grills. You know, all look the how aggressive McLaren, the back end of this McLaren is. McLaren honeycomb. All the carbon. Mm -hmm. Little tail winglets. Now I'm just gonna take a guess. This is a little bit more than a Ventador money. It's it's a lot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like not Senna money, but yeah. it's up there. Sub yeah. sub Senna, but you know, yeah. in between the two, let's say. Like like really nice house money. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Exactly. Spencer, so we're tipping on the million dollar mark. <laughs> Where do we go from here? We could do the Aventador is close to a million, but I believe that's a customer's car. Right? That one's a customer's car. You know, you can go up from there to SVJ. You're pretty much pushing that million dollar, te million dollar territory at this yeah. point. And then you go up to, you know, McLaren P1. Do you have a P1? I do have a P1. You have or, a P1. Sorry, not a P1. Senna. A Senna. Oh, you had me excited. Let's go look at the Senna. <laughs> okay. Senna, the extreme arrow. This is extreme race car? This is full on street legal race car. How much power are we talking? Too much. Too much? <laughs> uh, she's got lots. I believe it's actually around the uh, 600 and change. Um, it's not too crazy. It's just lots of super, super light car, crazy arrow, keeps it stuck to the ground and you know, well, Spencer, how the hell am I gonna get my Starbucks through that window? <laughs> <laughs> like, what am I gonna do with that? And so this is, is this lighter than the 675 type of thing or? I believe so, yeah. I'd yeah. have to look at the numbers on it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so. and much faster. Yeah, like, it's just more exclusive. Very, very exotic looking. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, one more time, what did you just say? So I said, it's always <laughs> hilarious with McLaren's upcharges, right? They've got a little sticker on the back and you can get any country you want. That little sticker costs $2,000 US. That sticker's $2,000. I'm I could get that made sure you at can buy it on Amazon. I can make it at a, at a decal <laughs> shop for less than five cents. <laughs> it better stick it good. Now, now, one thing that is really cool, this one has the 24 karat gold heat shield actually around the exhaust. So 24 can, karat? Yeah, people. you can actually see it right on here. 24 karat gold. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> What do you think? 
there's only one place you can go from here if you're a Ford guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? See the Ford GT. Yeah, let's go look. Because only August Luxury Motor Cars <laughs> would have not one, but two of the second gen. Yeah. And three or four, three of the first gen. Yeah, I think I've actually got a fourth one, uh, another red one. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Okay, so this is obviously, I would say the same money or more than the Senna. More than the Senna. More so this would be about the 1.7 Canadian as was the asking price on that guy. It has sold. 1.7. Uh, then we've got this even crazier spec next to it. This one's got the full carbon fiber wheel option. This is the new one though, right? Yeah, like, this is the new one. So this can't be technically sold? Like, no, nope, this one's not uh, not technically for sale for, Two for years. a couple of years. Yeah, now. yeah. But if somebody wanted to wait, this is a hell of a car. And what's the price on this guy? Uh, it, has, it hasn't been a set price hasn't yet. Has, but probably very similar to this. Yeah, yeah one seven. yeah. These are something that's blown my mind for years. Because I remember working at Ford and we had one. It was 144 Canadian new, mm -hmm. brand new 144. And what are they today? This one's 600. 600. This one's a little bit special because this is the last or the first produ produced car off the assembly line for the last year that they made them. Right. So, you know, being VIN 001 effectively for 2006. So, and this one's got under a thousand kilometers, I believe. Oh yeah, has. a car I definitely haven't owned. You know how many, I would have a thousand kilometers of donuts in that car. Yeah. I did, hey, I did donuts in the Hummer, by the way. Oh, you what? <laughs> it was uh, a little bit of work, but I got it happening. <laughs> All right, so what do you got here? Another one? Yep, another. Oh, uh, this is budget. This, 2006, this. yeah, this one's a little more kilometers on it. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've got something for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Pick and, your budget for your Or GT. red. Or red, yeah. But seriously, only you guys. Do you know how hard these cards are to come by? And you guys have three of them. <laughs> I like, have four, technically. The fourth one's uh, over at the shop. It's uh, already sold, but. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Like, yeah. And those, too. Like, you know what? In the US, you see those a lot, but not so much in Canada. Bullshitting me? No, nope, not bullshit. This yet. isn't a decal. This is exposed uh, carbon through the car. That is exposed carbon through the car. Same on the hood, and well, you know, it looks just like this. Well, I knew that. Yeah. yeah. So this is versus ninety nine. It's a decal, mm -hmm. and this is ninety nine exposed carbon or nine well, exposed carbon. Exactly. So this is actually painted on. So on onto these cars, fully painted, just exposed carbon right through, and then this one's got the exposed carbon hood package. So on. you're telling me this isn't a decal? No decals. <laughs> you're like you're done with decals. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I didn't know that. What do you have here? Because I know what it is, but it's I want you to tell me. Pretty cool, uh, 2009 F430 Scuderia. So it's like their track version of the uh, of the 430. Uh, very, very, you know, race car when it comes down to it. Um, they don't have any carpet. It's all metal floor paneling. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing luxury about these cars. No, exactly. No creature comforts. It's race car. Race so, car. How much power? Um, these guys here, I believe they're in and around the just shy of 500 if I'm not to okay. be mistaken. So. Yeah, but they're about 10, 12 years old, these cars? Or yeah, how, what year absolutely, is this, one? this is 09. Yeah, there you go. Well, we skipped over this when we were doing our pricing. This is a 430 Scuderia, mm -hmm. and that's a 430 Spider. I believe that one's actually a 360 Spider. Well, 360 Spider. Yeah, so the Gen right before the 430. Oh, they look similar. They're so, so similar. Like, hard to tell, like you'd have to be a Ferrari guy. <laughs> like, what's the blue one? Is that a 430 as well? Uh, that guy is a 430. 430? Mm. 360. 360. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a 430 around here? Uh, That's a 458, the red one. Yeah, 458 over there. Yeah, I can always barely tell the difference half the time. So. Yeah, 458 and the 488 are for me easy to tell. <laughs> like as a 458. Just, just like for the scoop, right? Yes, exactly, for the intercoolers. Mm -hmm. Give it to Ferrari. Everything's carbon and like very well. You can see it? Yep. Remember I just said I thought DDE did a video on his like this? Mm -hmm. He did. You know one thing I remember about it? He was complaining about the carbon fades on the sides from the engine heat. This one doesn't have that. Yep, it looks mint. Very nicely kept.
So this is a work of art to me. This, this is, is yeah. This is like you know I want the 488, right? The 458. It's a little less power, right? A little less power, but you know that raw, naturally aspirated sound that everybody loves. It's it's got its place in many people's hearts. So. Right. And like generally speaking, don't car guys go towards a 458 over a 488? Yeah, typically yeah. for investment point of view and you know long term, you know holding holding its value that uh, usually people end up at the 458. And you can find these, not this one in particular, but you can find these sub 300. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah, but not this one. Not particularly. Good. This and one's got 800 original kilometers on it, so it's pretty much brand new, 2014, and obviously a very, very beautiful spec too. Right. is a uh, a super america actually so i've never heard of that you probably wouldn't have it's a very very cool design it has this uh, unique glass roof that actually pops and flips up and mounts into some no brackets way. on the on the back over here and what was it called it's called the super america so super america based off of the 575 platform okay and uh yeah you won't see too many of them i think uh, the little badge over here shows you there's 559 that were ever made wow that's wild hey yeah super cool Spencer, this cool car, probably more of a collector car because you know I'm doing donuts and shit. I mean, where's my ski, my ski box gonna fit on that? I have no idea. No, so. <laughs> now, not only would August have, was it five Ford GTs? Mm -hmm. Six? Six, how many R8s are sitting around here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five actually. Right five, now. is there six or five? Five of them, five. in this corner. Just in this corner, yeah. Yeah, only you guys. <laughs> and so, obviously we have the spider mm -hmm. and the spider. And, any the spider. and the spider, are any V8s or are they all V10? All, all V10s. All V10s? So, uh, yeah. Depending on the generation of the 2020s, I've got a couple. This is a V10 non plus. Uh, this guy over here was a, I believe this guy actually was a V10 plus. That guy is a non plus over there. And then we've got the GT here. Too. Right. So the, the V10 plus, this is as close to a Huracan as you can get, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So essentially, for anybody that doesn't know, this is. A Lamborghini on a budget because you're not buying a Huracan for $194,000. No, right? no, no, not a chance. No. <laughs> Unless it's smashed. <laughs> cool, man. Well, I guess the only one left is let's look at my dream car, the 488. And you know what? This is your fault because you guys <laughs> let me drive the white one. You'd think I'm crazy, but other than the 675, this is the, or sorry, sorry, not the 675, the 765. Seven, seven, six, mm -hmm. This is the only car in the showroom I take. Like, why do I love these so much? There's a lot to love. You know? There's lots of love. Maybe it's my it's my first. It's my first Ferrari. <laughs> The one right there. That's it. Yeah, I, I have a thing for cars with a horse because I've had lots of Mustangs too. <laughs> yeah. And although the Testarossa is super cool, correct me if I'm wrong, these are not jump in the car and go across the country cars? Not by any fashion. No. They're a little more maintenance heavy, you know, they're more at that collector status where right. you put it in, you know, your garage, you drive it to your Sunday car shows, and that's about uh, it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's now, what the average person's getting. That's the average person, yeah. So, me driving 2,000 kilometers on a road trip, not a good idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not advised. No. no. Look at, look, this essentially is the same car as this. Essentially, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a few years difference. This is a lot of car for 244. You get, uh, you get a whole lot more track inspired, you know, performance for that kind of money. Well, I can tell you, I was not a Porsche guy at all mm -hmm. until this car. You drive it and then you get it. I drove it and I was like, <laughs> okay, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's this one? Same thing? Same thing, 16 as well, the old 2016s. Yeah. Uh, 
Again, only August would have two of them. Is that three? What's that? That's no, that's never mind. <laughs> GT4, yeah, had me for a second there. And Gen 3 Viper. And what's this Bronco? That's cool. It's kind of like the black one outside, same generation, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. And we know that car. I owned that one and the, that one. And you guys sold you guys sold the charger. Yep. Yeah. Congratulations. Voice over. Yeah. 789. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Spencer, how how much horsepower was this? 789. 789. So <laughs> Max, just make sure you cut that into the part where he said <laughs> 600. Spencer, thank you for your time. No problem. Anytime. Long long answer short. There is no supercar for somebody. Like like you know what I mean? Like you can't just come in and just say, I want this is the one, yeah. This is the one, yeah. Like and if you're like me, I've had three now in six months mm -hmm. and I'm already bored. <laughs> so yeah, but like off, off, you guys have the inventory. Yeah, something for everybody who's uh, you know selection, that's what we try and have. So what do you guys have from I down one thirty nine I think it was down there? Mm -hmm. Up to one point seven million over here. Something for everybody. Yeah, thanks man. No worries. See you later. That's Spencer. What a gem. He just donated like probably an hour of his time for a coffee. Alright boys, thanks for watching. We'll see whoop, just about broke my neck. See you on the next one.